Hey everyone, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small, and today we're going to be unboxing the American Starter Force for Flames of War. This is the American Bulge release, so it's something I've been uh, very excited for. So with most uh, Flames of War releases, they typically come with a starter box that uh, is a, a good representation of some of the things you get in whatever new book happens to be coming out and like i said this one is a companion to the american bulge book late late war americans are some of my favorites uh, to play in the game so i've been looking forward to this box uh, for quite a while so i see here on the cover what we're getting if you're not a sherman aficionado you might not recognize everything, but we'll flip it over and, and describe the various contents here. All right, looking at the back, we get one jumbo, which is this guy here. He can be built as a 76 or 75 millimeter. You get four Easy 8 tanks, two Pershings, four Chaffees, three M4 uh, Sherman Calliope launchers, two M8 Greyhound armored cars, two Jeeps. Uh, one parachute rifle platoon, a rule book, start here booklet, decals, and 11 unit cards. Everything you need to start playing Flames of War. So that's a good uh, representation. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get. All right, we got the start here. We'll take a look at that in a minute. The rule book data cards and stars to decal sheets which is going to be very helpful american vehicles are covered with stars we have the m20 scout car we'll take a closer look at all the plastic in a minute i think this must be the jumbo These are the Sherman Lates. These must be the Chaffees. These are the Easy Eights. They're going back into their old stock for the Pershings. The Pershing plastic kit's been around a little bit longer than, than other kits. Uh, but you get two of those. Jeep Sprue stands for the infantry squad. Infantry and crew. Cool. I will also say that this is probably going to be part one of a two part uh, unboxing and overview because I want to uh, spend a little bit more time with the individual models, uh, particularly the new plastics that haven't been released yet. So the new plastics include the Easy 8's new kit, the Jumbo's a new kit, the Pershing's been around for a while, the plastic Chaffee is a new kit, the Calliope launcher for the Sherman is new, I believe, but the Sherman itself is a, um, I think that's a, a older kit. And by older, I mean, it's, it's a few years old. And then you have your Baston Parachute Rifle Platoon and your M8 uh, Cavalry Recon Platoon. Out of the box, if you run this uh, with everything in here, it runs to 99 points, which is kind of nice. It's normally like here at Amgas, we've been playing at 100 points or um, 105 points, but if you play 100 points, you can add Lucky for one point, and uh, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so that's the starting, getting started box. Let's look at the books. Once again, you got a lot of these rule books so um, it's a complete rule book including missions in the back you got the various missions which is pretty cool you've got the decal sheets both of these look identical 
probably still not enough stars for everything but well maybe like for example uh, uh, Sherman could easily have five of these um, non-circled stars on each tank you don't have to put five on you could get away with fewer but I like to have lots of stars on uh, on my American tanks but that's cool and then you've got some um, command cards for the units in the box so if you're just playing with the units in the box you don't need to get the command or not the command card the uh, unit card pack for example I start with the older plastic kit uh, this is the Pershing uh, you get two of them and I believe you can build uh, one of these two as a super Pershing of course I don't think you can take a platoon of one regular Pershing so you'd need need more um, but uh, overall they are pretty cool I do like the Pershing it's a cool looking tank and here is an example of a built super Pershing in this this kit which is very cool okay and let's take a look at the Jeep very cool I've never built any of these plastic American Jeeps uh, all of mine are resin they look pretty cool obviously there's more parts there the resin is usually just one piece I don't know I think the the window frame is metal on those resin so that's pretty cool you get one frame so you get two Jeeps lets you build that recon section then you've got this which looks like it does the M20 um, utility car or the M8 Greyhound um, armored car so it looks like it's got two tops and a different turret for the more heavily armed Greyhound very cool this is uh, 2019 is the year on that okay next up let's take a look at I think this is just uh, regular Sherman so these are uh, 2014 the m4a3 yeah 2014 so this kit's been around for a little while uh, but it's a great kit um, I don't think it needed to be updated and this is an example of this kit uh, after it's constructed as just a plain m4a3 so a m4 late is what they call them in this book um, but this kit comes with a lot of different ways you can build it I'm gonna have a more focused video on this so I'm not gonna go over that just right now but know that there's lots of cool ways you can build that and you get three of these um, in the kit okay um, and in the box it's advertising them as calliope launchers um, so I may have missed that in the bag but in one of these bags there's probably calliope launchers yeah so I know this has the infantry in it as well but it looks like you have your calliope launchers it looks like these are resin but those will go with the M4 A3 lates or um, so you have well, looks like it's going to be several pieces to it but not too complicated it looks like each one might have five pieces so those are the calliope pieces sorry I didn't have that centered in frame better okay so as I said you get uh, three of those you can build them a lot of lots of different ways um, now we do have the uh, US paratroopers now I thought this might be coming with like the frame that came in the um, open fire starter box but these are their soft plastic I'd have to do a side by side comparison to see if they're the same the same thing but you see you've got LMG guys you 
got one guy popped loose. I've got a couple of loose guys here, you see. But looks like all of those long barrels survived. That's the advantage of this. You now this is flexible, but it's not super flexible. I don't know if you can see that. I suppose if you wiggle it long enough, it would break, but there's a 60 millimeter mortar. Very cool. So there you go, that's American paratroopers, which is great if you're starting out because you get a infantry platoon. And I think um, in the interest of being well balanced, almost any force should have some uh, infantry component in it. It's helpful to have something a little less uh, expensive to dig in or hold objectives um, while your vehicles go do some of the heavy lifting. Paratroopers are great because they can defend or they can attack. They can be pretty good in attack as well. So if you're new, having this is pretty good. I don't know what I'm going to do with these because I have a fully painted airborne company, so I don't necessarily need another box unless I just want to redo them with different sculpts. Although I love the original metal sculpts. The original metal sculpts are pretty, pretty awesome. And then here we have the, um, looks like the crew for the Jeeps and probably the scout cars and some tank commanders. Okay. So we're not going to spend too much time with that. Then we've got one of the more um, exciting for me releases is the new Chaffee. So this is the Chaffee Sprue. Like I said, I'm probably going to do a separate video of the Chaffee because I do have metal Chaffee. So I want to resin and metal. So I do want to compare the resin and metal to one of these when they're built. So that's just going to take a little bit longer and make this video way too long because I want to do that for the Easy 8 and the Jumbo as well. But you can see some of that cool detail. The upper deck, the hull, very cool stuff. You get four of these, which is really nice. Uh, I don't like running light tanks in, in platoons of three, so I'm glad they included four. Um, that's a really good number and um, can be pretty scary to your opponents. If you've seen some of our bulge battle reports uh, here or on Patreon, I have run uh, Chaffees in a, in a couple of them. Okay, then uh, next up, we have the uh, Jumbo Sprue, which is pretty cool. And this is 2021, so this is brand new. Um, you can see some of that cool track detail. The turret, you've got one for the 75, one for the 76. It looks like it has two turret pegs. It looks like it has two turret bottoms. So as long as it has, uh, it might just have one gun mantlet. Oh no, that's for the front uh, of the hull. So you might be able to, oh yeah, it looks like the gun mantlet's built into the barrel on these. So it looks like, I'm not 100% sure until I build it, that you could build both turrets and have both turrets and swap them in and out as you need it. Uh, take the 75 millimeter version, or if you have extra points, up it to a 76 millimeter jumbo and scare the living daylights out of your German opponents. Overall, I love the jumbo. Check out our jumbo uh, unit overview for bulge. Uh, I'll put a link in the video description below and uh, pop it up on the screen as well. We'll try to do that. Okay, and then probably my favorite tank, you get four of these as well, which is pretty awesome. And this is the Easy 8 And this is a 2021. Uh, I don't think in the book or in the card it goes over this, but it, this is really an M4A3E8 Sherman. And the E8 on the end is how it got its nickname, Easy 8 um, But we can see one of the big differences and big tells from a Easy 8 from other Shermans are the uh, extended side skirts on the hull that cover the track. So you see that on the sides there, right? Uh, and then the tracks are wider than a normal Sherman. So it gives it more stability in game. It gives it a two plus cross check, which is really nice. And you can see all that lovely suspension detail in there, which I'm very excited about. All right, guys, so there you go. That is a look at the plastic in the American Bulge set. If you can't tell, I'm pretty excited about this release. I'm gonna go ahead and um, 
end this video now, just showing you the contents of the cool box. And then, like I said, I'm going to have separate videos for these newer kits, which I believe will just be the um, Jumbos, the Easy 8s, the Chaffees, and um, maybe the Scout Cars. I, I forget, the Scout Cars aren't really a new kit. They're new to me. Well, they're 2019, so maybe we'll do a, a video on those as well. Let me know down in the video comments below if you want to see a Scout Car uh, Greyhound comparison resin to plastic as well. All right, there you go, guys. That is a look at the American Starter Force for Bulge. It is a really cool box. If you have any interest in Americans, if you have any interest in late war, I think this box is a no-brainer. 99, uh, uh, oh no, 99 points for everything that's in the box. The box itself costs 110 US, uh, which is a fantastic de uh, deal for everything you get in here. If you're a new player, you're going to use probably every bit of kit that's in here. Um, very little is probably going to stay on the sideline. Um, you know, the, particularly the Easy Eights are great tanks. Um, the Shermans are great tanks. Uh, American Airborne is some of the, the best infantry you can get. So it's really got some cool stuff. It's got some recon in it. Uh, and with the, if you build the Shermans as calliopes with the rocket launchers on top, you've got artillery, infantry, armor, and recon all in one box, which is fantastic. All right, there you go, guys. If you enjoy our Flames of War content, I do ask that you check out our Patreon, where patrons get access to an exclusive battle report to them every month. Also, uh, here on YouTube, we'd always appreciate a like and subscribe. Click that bell to receive notification when we release new content. As always, thanks for watching, and keep on gaming.